Welcome to a new video. I am back out on the bank and I'm in the Cotswolds. You actually join me at the end of a session. I've just done an overnighter on a club lake in the Cotswolds, trying to nab myself a lovely scaly banger. And I thought I'd document this little trip and um, give you an insight into my overnight fishing. So hopefully this gives you a bit of motivation to get on a bank, make the most of your time and get out there and catch a few. Right then, a bit of a different start to a video for a change. I've just loaded up the van. I've managed to get a last minute overnighter um, given the green light by the missus. So um, I'm gonna head up to the Cotswolds, do an overnighter, probably fish out the back of the van on um, one of the lakes up there, which has got quite easy access out the back of the van. Um, gonna obviously have to have a bit of a nose around when I get there in darkness, but you know, hopefully the effort pays off and we can have a bite, but um, this is reality of overnighters. You're pretty much going in the dark, and um, sometimes leaving in the dark. Although I've got a couple of hours in the morning, so I'll have a couple of hours in light. But um, anyway, I better get on the move, get a bit of food on the way up. Probably get myself a couple of beers. It's about half seven now, I think. So we're probably going to get to Lake about half eight, and then um, try and give myself a, a bit of a look around and see if I can locate anything. But let's get on the road and um, let's get to Lake. See if we can have something. Right then, so I'm currently in the van. Um, I have actually got some rods out. Um, I'm on hand pool. This lake, you can actually park behind quite a lot of the swims. And it's quite an advantage when you're doing this sort of um, overnight sessions because you can rock up, get the rods out really quickly, and um, also pack down and get on the road quickly um, when you need to get going. But I've got a couple of hours in the morning. Um, I think it's meant to be quite warm in the morning. Um, we've got a big storm, well not a big storm, but there's a bit of a storm coming through tonight. It's gonna be quite, rain, uh, quite a lot of rain for a good few hours. Um, I've not got any of the um, shelter set up yet, I've just managed to get the rods out. I've spent about an hour, maybe two hours walking around, um, didn't really hear anything. I've stood in um, both sections of the lake, it's like a horseshoe shape. I've stood in both sections of the lake, couldn't really hear anything. There's some guys on the actual um, spit that goes down the middle that creates the horseshoe. So I couldn't really go on there and have a look around. But um, I've cast around with a deeper, um, it's about sort of 14 foot or so. Um, I saw a couple of potential fish show on a deeper. I don't normally use it for finding fish, but in this situation it, it's kind of quite handy because I've not seen anything, so I've got it in my armory, so I might as well use it. So I've had a, a couple of chucks around with that, and um, I think I've found a couple of fish maybe held up sort of mid, uh, mid depth to sort of three quarter depth. So a, part, uh, a nine foot zig, I think it was, or a ten foot zig. Um, and then I've got a solid bag closer in on the marginal shelf. I'm on the back of the wind where it's the warmest at the moment. There's um, a bit of a wind on which is the reason why I'm doing this in the van because it saves me messing around with the audio. But um, yeah, I've put a solid bag on the margin where I think the fish might come up and have a mooch around in the morning potentially. Um, and then obviously I'm fishing a zig. So we've got a storm coming in, so I really need to go and get the shelter set up and get the um, bed chair sorted and then try and get myself a bit of sleep. I'm gonna stay up for a bit longer. It's um, it's probably about midnight now, I think, and I think there's a storm coming in about one o'clock, half one. So I'm gonna get all that sorted and then um, probably have a beer and then get myself uh, in the bag for a bit of a bit of a snooze because I've had COVID um, recently and I'm still feeling quite lethargic. So um, I could do with a bit of sleep, but that's the game plan hopefully something happens i'm going to leave all the camera kit and everything in the van another reason i'm just doing it in here because i'm going to end up leaving it locked in here in the dry um locked away because the van's right behind the um behind the swim so if i catch anything i can just grab it so i keep looking over there because I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to sort of half watch the lake at the same time but um anyway i've um i've got the rods out we're fishing let's get this shelter set up and um hopefully i'll be showing you a fish at some point in the uh, in the next sort of 10 hours or so so let's see what happens A unit, Ed. This is what I do a five hour round. What a trip. fish. These are the sort of chunks that are. Look at the size of that thing. Feisty. 
Friday morning. You join me with the first coffee of the day. So I'm on a um, club lake in the Cotswolds. I uh, thought I'd try my chance at a, uh, a little Cotswolds scaly. Not the uh, ideal time to be on this venue, if I'm honest. It's um, a bit fresh. Quite a big wind last night and a lot of rain's gone in. Um, but I haven't been able to get out on the bank for a few weeks. Unfortunately, the dreaded COVID got me. Um, I managed to get off the misses. And um, yeah, I've been out of action for a while. I was actually pretty rough, to be honest. It really did hit me way more than I thought it was ever going to. And um, yeah, I couldn't go to work. It was um, the policy at work. I'm not able to go in. So I was kind of stuck at home, quite bored, trying to entertain a little one. And um, yeah, it's been a bit uh, of a frustrating week or two. So I really wanted to get out on the bank, get some fresh air. Now, yesterday, um, I had a day with a family, um, so I didn't end up getting out until late. It was actually nine o'clock when I got to the lake, so it was well into dark. Not ideal, um, but you've got to put the time in if you want to catch the fish. And that's what this little video is about, really. It's just to try and let you know, like, even if you can only get out for an overnighter, even if you can only get out for a couple of hours, just get out and go. You know, you're not going to catch fish on the bank. Um, you're not going to catch fish at home. You're going to catch them on the bank, and you've got to be back on the bank to be able to catch them. So yeah, it's, it's, it's tricky and it's hard, but you've got to put in the time to be able to catch the fish. So I think being consistent is one of the main things in fishing. Um, with your time on the bank, with whatever you do, if you have consistency in your fishing, um, I think you're always going to do better long term. So I am, um, yeah, I got it really late. Um, the lake I was going to go to is a, a shallower little pit, but it was absolutely rammed. So I ended up sacking that off and coming to this one. It's only down the road, um, but this is quite a deep water. It doesn't get a lot of attention in the winter because it is quite a tricky winter lake. Um, average is like sort of 12 to 15 foot really, so it's quite a deep water. Um, and not got a huge head of fish in it, if I'm honest, but there's some absolute banging fish in here. So if you do get one, it's probably going to be an absolute peach of a fish. Got here late, um, obviously the first thing I need to do is location. Very, very important. It is absolute key. And it's obviously tricky when it's dark, but you've got ears, you can hear, you can listen to what's going on around the lake. And you have got eyes, funny enough. And you can still see at night, you know. Yes, okay, it's dark, but you can still see. You can see if there's a bit of a, there was a bit of a moon last night, so there was a reasonable bit of visibility. This lake's actually got quite a lot of light around it as well, because there's quite a lot of um, sort of uh, businesses around here. And there's also a clubhouse, which creates quite a lot of light. And so it does mean you've got like a, a lot of light reflected off the water, so you can kind of see if something shows quite well. It shows up reasonably well, especially on the, the section by the clubhouse, uh, which is actually where I ended up getting in. So um, I pretty much decided to get off of the wind. Uh, the wind was sort of pushing more towards the other section of the lake. Uh, there's actually a few guides around there, but it felt really cold in the wind. I did stand there um, for a while, but it felt really cold. So I sack that area off and come round sort of off the wind where it's flatter and felt a lot warmer. Um, I ended up casting a deeper round so I didn't really see anything to go on. Um, tried to see if I could locate anything um, fish wise really with that. I generally was actually using it for trying to find fish for a change, which is um, something I've not done much with it. But on lakes where it's quite deep, there's actually a good tool to try and locate sort of a group of fish. Um, I had a couple of like little arches on the sonar which might have been fish so that was all I had to go on really so I kind of put together the fact that I was on the back of the wind it felt warm I'd seen a couple of arches which might have been fish and that was kind of all I had to go on so a couple of them were quite low down um, a couple of them were sort of off the bottom so I decided to go in with a, a zig and a solid bag just confident tactics um, solid bag was my usual setup, a bit of mini cray mix, a little after, and I injected it with some um, oils just to try and help draw the fish to, down onto that bag. By the time I got the rods out, uh, it was very late. I must have spent a good couple of hours trying to find some fish. Obviously, it didn't really pay off, but uh, I found what I thought might have been some fish. That's all I could really do. So um, that's the thing, you know, on these sort of sessions, you've got to just sort of do what you can do, really, and um, find the best opportunity you can with what you've got to go on, and then just stick to it and see if it happens. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen, but that is fishing, isn't it? You've just got to try and do the best you can.
I've been watching the water for as much time as I can and I've finally seen a fish show, would you believe? It was a very, very subtle show. Just a little bit of a, a head sort of nutted out and rolled over. No idea how big it was. It was quite far out of my water. It's nowhere near me, to be honest, but um, it's, it showed sort of over this direction in the main body, not sort of in the middle, but kind of there's a spit here separating the two arms of the lake and it kind of showed out that way. But unfortunately there's some guys on this spit, so I don't know if they're fishing out this direction, but I can't get to it. So um, it's not something I'm going to be able to take advantage of, but it's nice to see a fish roll and I'm um, good to see that they're um, a bit active. But unfortunately that is the only one I've seen and it's nowhere near me, so I can't really do a lot about it at the moment. I've only got about an hour to go, so I haven't even got time to um, even try and get close to it really. So I've got to get packed down and get on the road. But um, that's how it is sometimes, but it's nice to see one and it's something I can store in a memory bank for um, future sessions. And um, yeah, hopefully one day I'll be able to take advantage of it. But anyway, I need to start getting sorted out and packed down, so let's crack on with that. And you never know, we might end up having one. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be a blank. I have still got the rods out, but I'm about to reel them in now, and um, everything else behind me. Is, uh, is packed down and in the van. So um, unfortunately, it looks like no fish, but hopefully this video is giving you a bit of an insight into my overnight fishing, trying to make the most of your time, try and put as much effort into it as you can, and um, it will hopefully reward you. The more you put in, the more you're likely to get back. So even if you haven't got time to go out and do a 24, if you've got time to get out and do an overnighter, even if it means you've got to go straight to work the next day, then just get out there and do it. You know, I'd much prefer to be on the bank, having a go, getting some fresh air, and um, trying to catch myself a nice fish than um, sat at home watching a bit of rubbish TV and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully you've liked the video. If you have, then please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Also, check out this video in this link up here. We've got a competition running to win a set of ProLogic C-Series compact rods and any length or test curve that you want and um, hopefully um, one of you guys uh, end up winning one of those you've got to watch the video answer the question at the end and you put yourself in with the running of um, yeah winning a set of those rods but um, I've got to get moving anyway I've got stuff to do to today so unfortunately I have got to go home but um, it's been nice to get out in the bank nice to get the rods out I've been using the new rods today as well um, these are the uh, ProLogic Fulcrums and I've also been using the Element Big Pit reels on them. Um, I've got another set of reels to try out as well, the Avengers which look really nice, they've got a lovely old school feel to and I'm going to use them I think on my next session. So um, anyway yeah, nice to get out, try a bit of kit, have a little bit of a go, nothing's happened but it's nice to be on the bank. So hopefully you've liked the video, hopefully you've got something from it. Like I said it's just to give you a taste of my overnight fishing. So um, until next time, if you're getting out on the bank, be lucky and I'll see you in the next video.